Ma'am, could you just tell us your reaction to the judge's decision? Uh, it's been a long time coming, and we're very pleased with what Judge Stout has done in affirming the jury's um, recommendation of, of death being the appropriate sentence for John DeBlaze for the horrific acts and, uh, that he imposed and the things that he did to these children. Uh, it was horrendous. It was horrific. It was something that the community didn't even want to know uh, could have happened in our community, but it did. And now, finally, we have justice for John DeBlaze. Uh, we have justice for those victims, and John DeBlaze has got a death sentence. Are you not? But I think the evidence um, tells the story in that there was just so much evidence of how heinous, atrocious, and cruel these acts were. I think it's very clear that um, the judge said that those, uh, the aggravating circumstances, heinous, atrocious, and cruel, and all of the things that happened to these children um, very much outweighed any uh, mitigating factors in this case contacted by uh, family members of Natalie and Chase, anybody since the verdict uh, last year over the holidays, just in support or just to give you any uh, encouragement Marianne waiting on that? every time. The biological mother of these children has been here every time. She testified in the trial. She was here today. Um, she, she's, she's been with us every step of the way, and um, you know, we're, we're, we're proud to see her today. Anyone else? No, just her. I know she sat on one side, and there were other you know, members on the other side. Now, of course, Mr. and Mr. Blaze have been here as well, um, but you know, I really can't comment on that. There were a half dozen jurors in the front row. Could I, I, this is something I don't often see. Uh, could you comment on how this case has impacted them? Um, I think you have to ask them how this case has impacted them, but I think the fact that they were here today and they wanted to see what the judge did, and they were, I think were looking for uh, some um, verification of their verdict by the judge because uh, you could see throughout this entire process, this lengthy process, that this uh, trial weighed on them. Uh, they were emotional many times. Uh, when the verdict, when they actually read the verdict, they were extremely emotional. And you could see what a toll that just being a juror in this case took on them. And I think by um, over half of them coming back today um, sent a strong message that um, they really wanted the judge to uphold their verdict. We don't often see that. What was it like to hear him speak? You know, he didn't testify on his own behalf or anything, but he actually stood up and addressed the judge. All we've heard is recorded statements. What was that like sitting through that? Um, today, Mr. DeBlaze again professed his innocence after having confessed, so it didn't carry much weight with me at all. Grandparents still don't have any rights. In your mind, there really are no winners today, is that? There are no winners. Just losers. Were you able to pass a message to your son? No. Were you happy to see your son say something today in court? No comment.